name is Rob Foster and I am a tattoo artist. I've been tattooing for just over 27 years and the last 22 years has been here in Mankato. I spend most of my time um, working on drawing tattoos. Uh, pretty much 100% of what I tattoo on people I draw. I motivate myself by timing myself drawing. It's ridiculous, but everything I do, I time it with one side of a record. So I will clean the kitchen for one side of a record, and then I will draw studio stuff for one side of a record, and then I will draw tattoo stuff for one side of a record, and that way I don't get too sidetracked. My dad was an art teacher before I was born. So I've always had art around the house. My dad would always draw caricatures of us during birthday parties, and yeah, I remember watching him doing paintings for my grandparents when I was a kid. So yeah, there was always art everywhere. I never thought of doing anything as far as art for a living until I got my first tattoo when I was 18. And then that's all I wanted to do. January 1st, 1997 was my first day just doing my apprenticeship. Lots of drawing, lots of cleaning toilets. And I was kind of scared to tell my parents, but they were both super supportive. They were just, they thought it made sense I was doing something with art. Um, the first thing my mom said was, oh, you're not going to be one of those guys covered in tattoos, are you? I mean, I would have anyway. I just feel lucky to be doing it, honestly. I am so lucky that I have a job that doesn't feel like work. You can sell a piece of art every day. When you do a tattoo, it's something somebody's going to live with every day. Um, depending on where it is, sometimes it's the first thing someone sees when they look at someone. Like if you're doing a head or a throat or a hand or you're changing someone's you, a lot of the time with the larger pieces and the more in your face pieces you're changing people's perception of a person which can be good or bad as far as my studio work what i try to do i do a lot of colored pencil work which is what i've always really been drawn to um i do a lot of things that people wouldn't let me tattoo on them um i do i, I have a lot of my sense of humor come out it's a little more dark i still do the bright colors of bold outlines but my themes are a little darker, there's some silliness, there's some crudeness. Um, I just kind of have fun with it. The funny thing is sometimes seeing clients that have work from 20 years ago to now, it's seeing my own progression on their skin sometimes is kind of terrifying. And you know, I look at it and I go, oh my god, I was so proud of that 15 years ago. And I would do everything in that piece different right now. Coming up in the creative field, the best advice I ever got um, when I was first apprenticing was draw every day, whether you want to or not, um, even if it's one or two lines, because the next day you'll do one or two lines, and then it's a shape, and just don't stop. I don't think everybody needs to get tattooed, but I think if people want to get tattooed, um, it's just an awesome way to push your boundaries. Some people are terrified of it, and uh, I don't know, doing things that you're scared of is a Never a bad thing.